Fluosinolone acetonide is a corticosteroid medication that is intended for topical purposes. It is available in multiple types of formulations, such as a cream, ointment, and topical solution. It is also available as a scalp oil and shampoo. It is well known by its brand names Sinolur and Capex. Fluosinolone has strong anti-inflammatory actions. It can be used for treating inflammatory skin conditions like atopic dermatitis or eczema. It is a chronic skin condition that causes inflammation, redness, and itching. It also produces some thickened and scaly skin. It can also be used for treating scalp psoriasis. It is an autoimmune condition that induces inflammation on the scalp. It results in the formation of red and scaly patches on the scalp. Dryness, itching, and hair loss may also be observed. Fluosinolone can suppress immune responses and helps in controlling inflammation. Therefore, when it is applied topically, it can reduce the severity of scalp psoriasis. However, being a corticosteroid, it should be used carefully and should be applied as recommended. This video explores all such key facts about this medication. First, let's see how to use this medication. You can get Flosinolone acetonide cream or ointment at a strength of 0.025%. Cream is also available at higher strength, such as 0.01%. You can get a topical solution, shampoo, and oil at the same strength. For treating scalp psoriasis, you can use either scalp oil or shampoo. If you are using oil, apply it as a thin film onto the scalp. It should be massaged thoroughly into wet hair or scalp. You should leave it on overnight or for at least four hours. Cover the scalp with a shower cap. You can wash with shampoo at least after four hours. In the case of shampoo, apply it to the scalp once daily. Gently massage to produce lather and keep it on the scalp for five minutes. Afterwards, it can be rinsed thoroughly with water. When you apply it on skin, the amount of cream you are going to apply depends on the area of the skin affected. Always apply a thin film of the cream to the affected area as recommended by your doctor. Typically, this cream can be applied two to four times a day. Wash your hands before and after application of the cream. Try to avoid contact of this medication with your eye. This medication is not intended for oral and intravaginal use. Now let's see the precautions for this medication. You should avoid using this medication on a few areas that are more sensitive. Avoid applying it on the face, folds, and groin, as it can increase steroid absorption. Just like other topical corticosteroids, prolonged use of this medication may produce thinning of your skin. This effect is more pronounced when it is applied to the face. This effect may occur even with short-term use. This medication can produce a condition called allergic contact dermatitis. This is a hypersensitive reaction that is due to contact with an external agent. It is a natural reaction of the skin towards an irritant or an allergen. In people with sensitive skin, flosinolone acetonide can act as an allergen and induce an immune response. This promotes the local inflammation. Therefore, it can produce skin rashes, itching, and blisters on the skin. It may just resemble symptoms of skin inflammation you have. However, this contact dermatitis is only limited to the area where this medication is in contact. In the case of the development of contact dermatitis, you can notice a failure of healing of skin inflammation. Fluosinolone acetonide cannot reduce any existing bacterial, viral, or fungal infection. Instead, it can worsen the infection if it is used alone. Being a steroidal medication, Flosinolone acetonide can reduce the immune response. This may result in a delay in wound healing, and sometimes a few of the infections may be worsened. Therefore, in case of bacterial or fungal infection, a suitable antibacterial or antifungal agent should be used. In order to avoid resistant infections and delay in wound healing, flosinolone acetonide should be properly used for indicated uses only. Even in the absence of infection, Fluosinolone acetonide should be appropriately used. Overuse of this medication can suppress the immunity locally. This may increase fungal, bacterial, and viral infections. In case of such infections identified, a specific treatment with anti-infective medication is recommended, as fluosinolone acetonide alone is not effective. Fluosinolone is intended for topical purposes. However, absorption of this medication into your body can produce a few serious adverse reactions. Therefore, you have to minimize the use of this cream to reduce the risk of systemic absorption. Use it in very low amounts as required, and it should be applied only to the affected area. 
Overuse of this medication may result in the suppression of the HPA axis. When it is used for longer periods greater than two weeks, it may have a chance of developing suppression of the HPA axis. Suppression of this axis results in the development of a few symptoms that resemble Cushing's syndrome. In this condition, blood glucose levels are elevated. Glucose is more excreted in the urine. Fat is unequally distributed, resulting in a round face. If you are applying this cream to larger surface areas or you are using it for prolonged periods longer than recommended, this risk may be increased. If you have any altered skin barrier with a higher chance of absorption, the use of this cream may increase systemic exposure. Use of occlusive dressings can also increase the systemic absorption. However, in treating psoriasis, your doctor may suggest the use of occlusive dressings. When flosinolone acetonide is used for children, it should always be used in very minimal quantities. The systemic toxicity may be more pronounced in children, as their skin is more sensitive and more permeable. Even accidental consumption of this medication will be more in the children. It may reduce growth and development in the children. In the presence of dermatological infections, the use of an appropriate antifungal or antibacterial agent should be instituted. If a favorable response does not occur promptly, the corticosteroid should be discontinued until the infection has been adequately controlled. Now let us see the side effects. You may have a few local adverse reactions with the use of this medication. It can produce burning, itching, and local irritation on the skin. You may get some marks on the skin that appear like a few streaks or lines. You may also have dry skin at the applied area. Small raised bumps may develop on the skin that look like acne. You may feel tenderness and itching at these bumps. Your skin may become thin where you are applying the cream. It can be easily fragile. Flosinolone acetonide cream can produce some change in your pigmentation, leading to some dark and white scratches. You may also observe a red rash around the mouth and nose. How does it work? Flosinolone is a corticosteroid. It helps in reducing inflammation. It works by multiple mechanisms. It can stabilize lysosomal membranes and reduce the release of leukocytes. This reduces the development of inflammation. Another action is to inhibit the accumulation of inflammatory mediators. It can reduce the adhesion of leukocytes to your blood capillaries, which further inhibits inflammatory response. It also reduces the capillary wall permeability, which may decrease the chance of swelling and edema. Fluosinolone reduces the histamine activity. It also prevents the release of a few enzymes called acid hydrolases that produce damage to your skin. By all these actions, it can produce anti-inflammatory activity. These are the key facts about Flosinolone Acetonide Topical Cream and how to use it. That's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. Share your experience and how it works for you in the comment section below. Have a great day.